Good morning, class. Today, I would like us to look at the sampling techniques, uh, which are the methods used in the correction of data, or a way of helping to gather information which one may need, for example, in an area of a study. With me, I've shared a document which we had earlier on on uh, the techniques which can be uh, used in the correction of data, but now dealing with a small uh, group of the population, which we normally call uh, a sample. Before we do this, let's first of all understand the following uh, terms. One is what we call population, and this refers to the totality of all the elements in a given area of study. The field of the inquiry where you want to get the information from that particular uh, group could be of people, could be of maybe uh, some products in a given uh, line of production. It could be maybe uh, students in a school setup. This is what we can refer to as population. The totality of all the elements in a given area or field of study, also known as the universe, okay? When we base our correction of data upon the whole population in a given area, then we say that method of correcting data is known as a complete enumeration in a simple way, you call it census. Sometimes it becomes tedious. Let's say you want to investigate and you query every other element in a given population, you'd prefer to deal with a small group. That small group is the one we call a sample. So a sample is usually drawn from the population. It is a representative of the population that is being studied. And mainly you would want to have a true representative of the population so that the inferences or the conclusions you are likely to make uh, based on the small group of the population now concluding about that whole population would actually have no uh, uh, deviations or will not be too far away from if you had involved all the elements in that particular population. A small group of elements representing a population is known as a sample. Mainly, you'd want to deal with a small group because you want to do a quick analysis of a problem, say in a given region, or you want to do a quick analysis of a particular issue that you're studying. So within that small amount of time you have, you cannot say query or investigate all the elements in a given population. So you'd prefer to do with a small group and this small group is the one we are calling a sample. The question is what do we call the method as you're drawing those few elements to be called a group known as a sample? That process of drawing the small, uh, uh, the small group from the whole population is the one we call sampling. Sampling is a process or it is a way 
of you now coming up with a sample size, with a sample that can be used as a true representative of the population. What are some of the uh, uh, needs that you need to have in mind when it comes to sampling? One, maybe the cost was too high if you were to have involved a sensor. So to cut down the cost to which you are going to carry out your investigation, you'd prefer to actually uh, go for sampling. And I've said sampling is a way of drawing a few elements from the population to have that group representing the population itself. Sometimes you may not reach all the elements. Uh, maybe the time is constraining you, so you have very retro amount of time to do your study and you make the conclusions. So in the name of that, you may not reach thousands, you may not reach millions of people. You'd prefer to uh, deal with a small group and therefore the need for sampling. Sometimes uh, the case that you want to say investigate upon does not necessarily require that you have to cover up all the elements in a given population. There's no need. So why waste the resources, for example, or involve a lot of time when maybe you could have just dealt with a few uh, elements and you make your uh, conclusions. A good example uh, to take precaution about uh, COVID-19, uh, in Kenya we needed not to have every other person infected for us to say, this is the way to go. One case was enough to actually take their measures. So you see, there are some instances where you don't necessarily have to uh, look for a group that is too large for you to be able to come up with a, a conclusion. So a small group may be enough to help you uh, analyze the case and later on you make your uh, conclusions. When it comes to the cost uh, and the benefit analysis, for sure if you are to involve a larger group, it will be very expensive for you. Versus when you have a small group to be covered, which may not involve a lot of money in trying to uh, correct that particular, uh, information. So for cost uh, uh, benefit analysis, you may uh, want to deal with a small group other than a large uh, group and therefore may need for uh, sampling. Accuracy is a very key element to consider when you're dealing with data because if you miss the element of the uh, the the the, the the accurate information, then it will also be resulting into uh, misreading conclusions. So you require to uh, maintain that accuracy. And when you're dealing with a small group, the element of accuracy is actually maintained. So it helps you also to have a chance to make good conclusions about your uh, 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 study or about your analysis. And those are the main uh, reasons as to why one would actually require to do sampling other than maybe dealing with a whole population or rather uh, this, the complete enumeration or census. What are some of the assumptions we do make when it comes to a sampling? Remember you're doing a sampling or a way of having a few uh, elements drawn from the population to be useful in now making your conclusion at the end of the day. Let that particular sample be a true representative. 
let's say you want to investigate about uh, the levels of incomes generated by the people of a nation like Kenya. And so you go, let's say, to a place where you find the riches. And that is where you narrow down as you do your uh, analysis. For sure, that doesn't represent the whole case about the country. So make sure you include all the income groups so that when you're now making your uh, study and you make the conclusion about the whole country, at least you have taken care of all the uh, groups, the vulnerable, the ones who earn middle level of income, those who have got no amount at all at all generated. So at the end of the day, if it is a problem you are trying to analyze, let's say uh, levels of employment in the country, you not go on concluding that Kenya, everybody is employed when you know maybe only 10% who have got the job opportunities in the country. So make sure that your sample act as a true representative of the population. The sample itself should also consider the variables hmm, of the population. Let all the elements that are, or rather the characteristics depicted by the population be seen in your sample so that again, it will act as a true representative of that particular population that it is being represented. Have a sufficient sample size. If let's say the population is large, then you also need to go for a larger sample size so that it will allow, help you to cover as many characteristics depicted by that particular population as much as possible. But on the other hand, if the population size is small, then a small sample size would also be sufficient enough for you to carry out your uh, study. And again, have a problem that you're trying to address. Don't just correct data from a given sample when you know you have got no basis of you using that data. Let it be you have got a problem you have identified so that you are now able to uh, think of the population to reach and from it, it's where you now get the, the sample upon the area of your investigation. The area of the investigation is a problem you're trying to address in a given uh, field of research or in statistics. What are some of the objectives of sampling? Number one, we have said, since you're dealing with a small group, you maintain accuracy. And such accurate information will be much more reliable when you're making conclusions so that at the end of the day, the conclusions will not be misreading. You want to minimize the cost because when you're dealing with sensors, it will be very expensive. Sometimes lack of funds remit us into uh, conducting research work. So you may uh, look for a way of minimizing that and this can be achievable through uh, sampling. A lot of time, a lot of energy will be consumed when it comes to a complete enumeration. To minimize this and to help you also uh, devote that time that is available into more productive areas, you would prefer to go for sampling other than a census. And again, uh, limitations which are posed by a large sample size are minimized in that you're able to maintain accuracy and such accuracy would actually lead us to better conclusions to be made if you're dealing with sample other than a whole population. And as we look at the assumptions, as we look at the need for uh, sampling plus the objectives, they now lead us to the advantages. One, it is quick for us to be able to carry out our research work based on a small sample size. We are able to solve the problem within a short period of time. Uh, the, the more you are able to analyze the case, the more uh, or the higher the possibility of you coming up with a solution into addressing maybe a challenge that could be there in a particular uh, a country. Again, there's a chance for you to hire people who are uh, qualified, expertise element comes in 
when you're dealing with a small group because you not hire so many and so you maximize on the use of people who are uh, highly trained in the field of research and this one's helped you to maintain a lot of accuracy and return you also have the chance to actually have good results at the end of the day also in details you are able to get as much as information as you'd like from a small group than when you for example have a large size uh, 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 population and again you are able to control the uh, the external mm, the environment that could be affecting the elements that you're trying to investigate upon and so variables which are likely to uh, come in and affect your study can be put into a control if only you have a small group or a manageable number of elements which constitutes part of your uh, study in our uh, in our next uh, uh, session i'll help you to understand the types of sampling uh, techniques so we stop there uh, for now Thank you.